Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. Once again, here we are, figuring out another interesting science topic that we often did not question. But as we are naturally complex and curious, come and let's figure out the truth about fire and its shadow. So to start, a light source illuminates its surrounding like the sun. It gives light to the objects around it through infinite light beams or paths which the light energy travels on. Now, if an illuminated object obstructs light beams, then the light could not pass through that object anymore. It creates the object shadow on the opposite side of the light source because shadow is merely an absence of light. For example, if you put light on an empty box, you could observe that all parts of the box are illuminated. But if you put a cup in the same box, some of the light beams cannot pass through the cup, creating certain parts of the box that isn't fully reached by light. And that is the shadow of the obstructing object. And so the interesting question is, does the fire have a shadow when, in fact, it is a light source? Basically, it's a no. It does not have a shadow if it acts as the light source. When fire is the only thing that gives light to its surrounding, making it the brightest, it can never obstruct its own light. Thus, fire is shadowless. However, if you put fire together with a much brighter light source, then its light becomes overpowered. The fire becomes an obstruction to the brighter light beams produced by the brighter light source. Since fire acts an obstruction, it produces its own shadow. To better understand it, compare a bonfire during the night and during midday. Notice that bonfires in the night doesn't have a shadow because it acts as the light source during the night. While if you make bonfires during the day, it could be observed that it has its own shadow. It is because the light from the fire is overpowered by the light from the sun. Thus, the bonfire during the day obstructs the light beam from the sun producing its own shadow. So, as a summary, one could never be a light source and have a shadow at the same time. It could definitely be either, but not both. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.